What's going on guys, Angel here. Welcome back to Woof of This. This is where I check out new and old fragrances. I unbox them, get my first impressions, and I also do reviews on them. Today, as you saw from the title, we're gonna be checking out the House of Givenchy or Givenchy, depending on where you're from, Givenchy Gentleman Boise. Now, if you watched my previous video, I actually just checked out the uh, Mancera Cedric Boise. And when I tell you that fragrance, at first I wasn't really, I didn't know what I was gonna think of it. The opening was kind of catching me off guard. But when it dried down, I actually wore it today. I was like, man, I really like this scent. And I'm glad that I have it in my house now. My sister hates it, but I don't really care. I really like the way it smells. It smells like a man. And it smells citrusy and like tobacco, like a cigar type of tobacco. It's really nice. Like I said, we're going to be checking out uh, Givenchy Gentleman Boise. Shout out to Demi Rawling as well as uh, Curly Fragrance and or Michella. Uh, shout out to them because they're the ones who kind of put me on to this fragrance. They really had nothing really but good things to say about this fragrance. And all the reviews that I've honestly been seeing have been pretty good. So I wanted to go ahead and check it out. Alrighty, now I'm going to be smelling this on paper and on skin as well. Um, even though I wore Mancera today, I didn't actually spray it on my skin. I just sprayed it on like the hoodie. So I'm going to take the hoodie off in a little bit. Uh, I do have the paper strip right here. Shout out to Coles for actually letting me use some of these for my videos. And uh, let's go ahead and open this thing. So it came in this box. I actually ended up getting it from Gift Express. It is a little bit dirty. It's got a little bit of dirt on there. I don't know if you all can kind of tell, but it's, it seems like a nice package because it's got like the bubble wrap type of on the inside. So I like that, that it's pretty protected. I paid a whopping $70 for this fragrance. It retails for 124 on the official Givenchy website as well as I think Sephora. So I'll leave it in the link description below. Shout out to Gift Express once again though, because I wasn't sure about them. This is my first time actually using them. And this was the fastest shipping I've ever had from any fragrance company, like two days flat. That was it, two days is all it took. And it was free shipping. Oh, the classic package inside a package. So they put it in the bubble wrap and then they also put it in this. Alrighty, let's unravel this thing. Tells me what I got, Givenchy Gentleman Boise, $64.95. After tax and everything, it basically came to $69, so right under $70. And that's a steal. That was 50, almost $55 off for a fragrance that was $124. That's awesome. So this is the box right here, as you see. It has Givenchy Gentleman on the front. And then it also says Eau de Parfum Boise. I actually don't know what Boise stands for and I think I, it's time for me to go ahead and look it up because this is the second fragrance that has Boise in it and uh, let me go ahead and look it up really quick. Alrighty, so it stands for wooded. Uh, Boise means wooded in English. So basically Cedric Boise was Cedric wooded, whatever Cedric stands for. I'll have to look that up too. We'll do that at another time, but I hope you all are enjoying the video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. I did have Givenchy uh, Pie in the past, I wasn't really a fan of it. For some reason, I liked it at first. And then when I sprayed it on skin and I was like, I was wearing it for a couple hours, I was like, I don't think I like this anymore. And I ended up just giving it to my dad because it does smell like more of an older person fragrance. Um, I know a lot of people kind of want that fragrance now. It has become a little bit popular from what I've been seeing. But uh, let's go ahead and open this up and see what we got here. Let's see if somebody test sprayed it as well because a lot of times people will test spray these fragrances. Um, just to make sure I guess the atomizer is working and whatnot, which I understand. All right, here we go. Again, that's the box one more time. It seems like a pretty basic box, nothing too crazy. Um, again, it's pretty basic, doesn't feel premium or anything. On the top there, they have the Givenchy logo. And then on the bottom is the barcode, so yeah. All right. Oh, okay. There's something written in here. I don't know what that says. It's in cursive. I've can barely tell what that says in cursive, honestly. I think it just says Givenchy. Yeah, it looks like Givenchy. Yeah, it's not real. Uh, it's not real Sharpie or anything. Let's go ahead and open it up though. The bottle is very nice. Very, very nice, yes. Check it out, y'all. That is the bottle for Givenchy Gentleman. I really, really like that. It's like this translucent, um, it does this nice little fade effect, if you all can kind of tell. It goes from light to dark. I'm not really trying to show my face just because I wanted to focus. The cap, I don't know if this is a magnetic cap. Um, It's not. Okay. 
that's good. It has a nice click too. That means it's gonna stay really secure. I'm really glad about that. Cause uh, Mancera, the magnetic one, it's nice, but I was testing it out. And if you hit it hard enough, like go down, it actually will fall out. Like this one feels very secure. The bottle feels really nice as well. Like the glass they use feels really, really cool. Um, it seems like it's easy to wipe off too. Like if you use a, uh, a little cloth really quick to clean it off. Like I use this for my car, but I'm not saying this is clean. This is clean, but I use these for my car, the micro microfiber cloths. I really like it though. The bottle looks nice. I like the gold uh, accent. It's simple yet kind of sophisticated type of bottle. All right, let's go ahead and see how it smells. Let's see if anyone sprayed it really quick. It doesn't seem like anyone sprayed it, but I will say I can kind of smell it and it does smell pretty good. This first sniffs from the atomizer, it smells pretty good. Let's go ahead and go over the base notes really quick and uh, then we'll spray it on paper and then on skin. So apparently this was released in 2020 and some of the notes in here, it's saying that it says in the top notes that we're gonna get some black pepper coriander, geranium. In the heart notes, we're gonna get cocoa, iris, and cedar wood. So this is definitely gonna be like more of a woodier type of fragrance, which I mean, it does say that in the name, Boise stands for wooded. Uh, the base says sandalwood, patchouli, and oriental accord. I already have a feeling that I'm gonna like this mainly because I really like iris and I also love sandalwood and patchouli and all these combined together. I feel like this is gonna give me vibes of like uh, Prada Loam. I feel like that's what it's gonna remind me of. All right, let's go ahead and spray this on paper And then after that we will spray it on skin. I'm really intrigued on this. I hope it smells good I this feels like it might be a nice date night type of fragrance. Okay, so nobody sprayed it because I just sprayed it one time two times three Ooh. That fourth one that atomizer is nice. Oh Wow Yo, oh wow, oh yeah, yeah, oh my goodness, this, oh, yo, <laughs> first off, the black pepper, it's like, it's there, but it's subtle, and then I smell like that cocoa, oh, this is so good, it smells like uh, cocoa butter, with like black pepper and these nice woody notes. Like I smell all that just on the paper. It smells so good on paper. Oh my goodness. This reminds me of a fragrance that uh someone I know, I feel like, I don't think this is what he was wearing, but it kind of smelt like this. And this is probably what it was trying to be. It was try probably trying to be this fragrance right here but I didn't even know at the time, like this is when I was probably in middle or high school, but I still remember that fragrance. It smells like this, but this one smells better. Man, that's so nice, yo. The chocolate and black pepper are coming in the most on paper. So let me take this hoodie off really quick and I'm gonna smell this on skin. Let me go ahead and spray this on skin now. Let's see what we do. Ooh, ooh, the atomizer. I might just go ahead and spray this on my, yeah, hold on. Yeah, yeah, that's how much I like it. Yeah. Oh man, this is gonna be up here, my uh, top fragrances for sure, I can already tell. Ooh, 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 yo. Wow, I smell, it's like, so on, on my skin I smell these nice woody notes, it's sweet. Um, you definitely smell like that cocoa. That cocoa just comes in so subtle. It's like, oh, you're wearing like cocoa butter lotion, but it smells really nice, like a manly cocoa butter. It smells really good. Wow, the black pepper. I def I still smell that black pepper, but I'm definitely getting more of the woody notes, like the sandalwood, and um, I do smell like that patchouli as well. I don't know so much geranium. I haven't smelled geranium as much, but I imagine that is definitely in here. It's so nice. It is so nice. It's like almost like this nice green type of smell, like pine almost. Almost like a pine. Like it definitely reminds me of like a pine. It, there's something fresh about it for sure. And that probably is the geranium now that I'm thinking about it. Probably is that geranium note. Um, I really like this. I'm going to give this. 
If I had to rate this on a scale of 1 to 10, at 10 being the highest, I'm going to give this a 9. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. This is not perfect, but it's getting very close to a 10 for me. Um, this is nice. I almost want to say 8.5, but I'm going to give it a 9 just because I know the dry down. And I feel like this is probably going to last because most of the time, Givenchy fragrances last pretty well. But I'm loving I Yeah, this is it right here. Y'all need to go out and get this right now. This was a blind buy for me. And almost every fragrance I get is pretty much a blind buy unless I go to like Sephora, Macy's or like uh, Saks Fifth or something to check them out. Um, this right here. Every man needs this in his fleet. I mean, if you don't like really cocoa or really like a fresh type of note, I I guess you're not going to like this. But this is great. It's nice woody notes. Um, this The chocolate is so nice. It's so subtle, but it's there. And it makes a presence known. I really like that. I could see myself wearing this during the summer months. I could also see me wearing this during the fall. It probably is going to perform great in the fall, especially on those like cold. You know, this seems like one of those cuddle fragrances. Seriously. This is nice. But I hope you all did enjoy the video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see some more content like this. Remember to enable push notifications so you can stay up to date as soon as I release a video. And until next time, you guys, peace out.